Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge that many developers encounter when building backend applications. Our viewer is facing some confusing warnings while using Webpack to build their Node server. The viewer wants to use Webpack for two main reasons. It creates a single executable file for easier deployment, and it bundles all dependencies, allowing for deployment in any compatible node environment without additional installations. However, they're encountering several warnings during the build process. The warnings include issues with missing modules like buffer util and UTF-8 validate in the WS package, as well as a critical dependency warning in the Express package. Although the application runs fine after building, the viewer is seeking a reasonable solution to address these warnings. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. Let's address the warnings you're encountering when building your backend node server with Webpack. First, we'll look at the module not found warnings related to the WS package. These warnings indicate that Webpack cannot find certain dependencies that the WS package relies on. To resolve this, you should install these missing packages directly into your project. Next, let's tackle the critical dependency warning from the Express package. This warning arises because Webpack cannot determine the dependency at build time due to dynamic requires. To fix this, you can use the Context Replacement plugin in your Webpack configuration. This plugin helps Webpack understand how to handle dynamic requires. Finally, after making these changes, rebuild your application. While the warnings may not prevent your app from running, addressing them can lead to a cleaner build process and fewer surprises in production. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When building a backend, Express, or WebSocket node app with Webpack, there are some important warnings to consider. First, Webpack can work with Node, but it struggles with require statements. To make it work, you need to modify your setup to ignore require statements. In some cases, you can pull files into a master file if your modules are written in TypeScript or if you're using ES6 with Babel. However, even in these scenarios, Webpack might not include all files. Ultimately, it's not a major concern since modules are cached in memory at boot and referenced later. For more detailed information, check out the article linked below. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.